Hi, this is Kevin Annett with a very important breaking news announcement from the Prosecutor's Office of the International Common Law Court of Justice. This is May 14, 2014. The Ninth Circle Child Sacrificial Cult members, locations, and dates are identified to the court. Prosecutor issues a call for special deputies to stop the Ninth Circle's trafficking and murder of children. Brussels. As the third session resumes in the court's historic case into child trafficking and cult murder, the prosecutor today introduced remarkable new evidence that names the identities of top Ninth Circle cult members. The same evidence also positively identifies when and where some of the Ninth Circle rituals are being conducted, involving the routine rape, torture, and murder of children and newborn babies. Quote, Senior Ninth Circle members include Jorge Bergoglio and Joseph Ratzinger, so-called Popes of the Church of Rome, Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, two British High Court judges, at least one Catholic bishop in Canada, senior government ministers in Belgium and England, and members of the British, Dutch, and Belgian royal families, unquote, stated a news release from the prosecutor's office today. Quote, the most recent gatherings of the Ninth Circle occurred in the crypt of Carnarfon Castle in Wales, and within a subterranean vault beneath Marie Rendemont Roman Catholic Cathedral in Montreal, Canada. At least two of the primary defendants were identified at these recent gatherings where children under five years of age were ritually killed. The next major conclave of the Ninth Circle at the Montreal Cathedral at 1085 Rue de la Cathedral is scheduled for August 15, 2014." Unquote. Now, in response to this startling evidence, the five court judges adjourned the trial proceedings today to allow the prosecutor's office to issue a, a call for special deputies to take immediate action to stop these murderous rituals of the Ninth Circle. As Kevin Annett, special assistant to the prosecutor, describes, quote, I was awoken after midnight by a call from Brussels alerting me to the prosecution's demand that special be deputies be immediately sworn and prepared to take direct action to stop the Ninth Circle's murder of children. So I've instructed all 39 of our local chartered common law groups to do exactly that. We want the men and women who are now being trained as our police force to realize that children are dying horribly as we speak. Protecting those children will be the first job of our trained sheriffs. They will be detaining and incarcerating the guilty and they will be deputizing other men and women to form direct action units to enforce the standing arrest warrants against criminals like Joseph Ratzinger and Elizabeth Windsor. We can only protect our children by tracking down and stopping those who are raping and killing them today, starting with the sick monsters known as the Ninth Circle." Unquote. Offers to assist in such direct action against the Ninth Circle have already been received from policemen and politicians in Europe, and from local sheriffs and active service marshals and soldiers in America. Last week, the court commenced training programs for common law peace officers in 13 countries. For information how to join the nearest training program and their direct action units, write to itccscentral at gmail.com or phone 386-323-5774 at the ITCCS office in the United States. That's 386-323-5774. Five seven seven four. This has been issued by the Public Information Agency of the Prosecutor's Office, May 14th, 2014, in Brussels. I thank you.